Okay, welcome back. We are gonna look at a 1958 Royal Futura 800. This is the first uh, year that they were manufacturing these and it came comes in several colors. So this one we're looking at is pink and gray. Yours might be a different color, but it should operate the same. So we are gonna um, start with the back and move our way forward and um, show you how to use this. Now, before we get started, I don't always remember to tell you, but I highly recommend a non-slip typewriter pad because you'll notice when you have a typewriter, when you type, it starts to scoot. And so we worked with a manufacturer and created our non-slip typewriter pads and they're amazing. We just love them. They don't leave marks and they dampen the sound and they protect your table and then your typewriter doesn't scoot. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to flip this up. We're just going to start all the way from the back. Inside, back, you're going to see this says Royal Futura 800. There's also the Futura 400, but this is an 800 that we are gonna look at today. They are a little bit taller than other typewriters. Here we go, we've got um, our paper handle, uh, paper holder, um, keeps the paper from flopping over, which is really nice. You've got the plastic guard here. Um, this has magic margins, which I'll show you in just a moment. You've got a paper release on the right side. You've got your line selector on the left side. This releases your um, platen. And, um, and you've got your roller handles. Carriage release are these silver levers. Doesn't matter which side, you just pull them in. Releases your carriage. Um, over on the left side, you will find a little knob, uh, lever right I don't know if you can see, it's right here. That is your carriage lock. And so let me show you how that works. And don't worry, I'm gonna go back and we're gonna use each of these things. So the carriage lock kind of keeps the carriage from moving when you're not using it. And so you can't see it right now, but you just flip that down and kind of tap. There you go, my carriage is now locked in. So I can't move it. Okay, so it's locked. So if you get, let's say you order one and you get it in or you purchase one from somewhere and you can't move the carriage, come over here on the left side. That lever is hidden underneath the carriage. Flip it up and then now you can release that carriage, all right? While we have the carriage over to the left, let's go ahead and look under the hood. So this is your top cover. Um, to open it, you press the little red logo area and it opens it up. And let me lift it up so you can see better. Um, and then um, you can also, the link to the original product listing is gonna be in the description below so you can look and kind of see what this looks like as well. Um, this takes a two inch ribbon, which is called a universal ribbon. So two inch spool with a half inch ribbon is all it takes. Now, if you have the original spools and you just want new ribbon on it, there's a link in the description below. We do that. You send us your spools, we roll the ribbon and send it back to you. So um, when you load new ribbon, make sure black is on top, red is on bottom. It does take a two color. Certainly you can load a single color. That's not going to be a big deal. Just make sure when you load it, you have it through the guide wires, each side and in the middle. Please reference the photo on the product listing. Save that photo, screenshot it or whatever for your reference and that'll help you make sure that the ribbon is loaded correctly. Okay, so right here 
On the right side is your color selector. It's on red. Stencil is the white. You're not ever gonna use that and it's not gonna type properly. So if it's ever on white, it's not gonna type right. Make sure it's on the red or all the way to the bottom is the black. Oh, nope, there we go. Black is in the middle. Red is on the bottom, black in the middle, white on the top, okay? Over here is a touch control that determines how hard these type bars strike your paper. It's strictly a personal preference, has to do with how hard you, your fingers strike. So like my husband has a really heavy hand, I have a really light hand or light touch, and so we would have um, a different selection here. Um, ribbon reversal, this is a manual ribbon reversal because when you get use up all the, um, when you get to one end of, use up all the ribbon on one end of the spool, you wanna reverse it and go back and forth. And you will do that many, many times before you use up the ink and need a new one. By the way, if you need new ribbon, please visit our website at jotandtittletypewriters.com and you can find ribbons there. Again, it takes a universal ribbon. Okay, let's go ahead and shut this and let's load a piece of paper and um, and then we'll go through all the different things on this typewriter. So to load paper, it's super easy. It's gonna go right here behind the roller. No need to press it down, just set it there, turn the handle. Make sure you get it underneath this bar. And I like to come up halfway to make sure it's even, which it is. Um, but if it wasn't even, then you pull this paper release forward you can adjust it, all right? Also, when you're done, you um, pull the paper release forward and pull the paper out. All right, so um, to set your margins, right now it's set right here. You can see this little ruler and it'll kind of tell you. So I'm kind of somewhere around 16 or 17 on the ruler, goes all the way. Right now I'm um, probably about 65. Um, so if you want to move your um, margins out, what you need to do is hold down that red button and at the same time release the carriage and move your carriage to where you want it to be. So I'm going to line it up to the 10 and then release. So now my margin, my left margin is at 10. Let's go over here, I'm at about 66. Let's move it out to 70. So I'm gonna push the red button down. At the same time, release the carriage, move out here to 70. And um, now we're at 70. Now that's a pretty wide margin, but pretty standard for like a letter or something like that. But maybe you want a narrow margin. And um, so what you're gonna do, it's a little bit easier. You just put it where you want it. So I'm gonna move mine over to 25. I'm gonna hit magic margin and you hear it click and that tells you it's set. So there it is, it's set. And let's go over to 60. Right now it's at 70. There's that bell, that bell tells you at your margin. Let's go to 60 and set it. The bell tells you you've just set it. So now I've got narrow margins, which I like for um, demonstrations. So I'm gonna leave it there. Also that bell, again, it tells you when you hear the bell, that means, hey, you are at the end of your margin, time to hit this return handle. Or if you've been typing, there's the bell. I should hit the return handle, but let's say I wanna keep going. It's gonna stop. Here's a margin release right here on the right side. It says M-A-R-R-E-L, Mar-Rel. Margin release, hit that. And you can finish your thought or your word. And then um, on this particular one, to go back to the beginning, I have to hold the margin release down while hitting the return handle. So, um, uh, that could be a quirk with this particular typewriter, um, probably is, but with yours, if it does that, just keep that in mind. Okay, so I have my margins reset. This particular one has a quirk with the margin release, but yours, you should just be able to hit that margin release, finish your sentence, hit your return handle, and keep going. Okay, 
So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna show you how to set the tabs. So you'll have a tab clear, a tab set. So um, uh, what I like to do when I get a typewriter is I hold the tab clear in, I release the carriage, I kind of just go back and forth, okay? Because um, I want to clear any tab, all the tabs. Now let's go ahead and let's say, let's set one right here. And that should have set it. There it goes, so now it's set. Um, and if I wanna clear that one, I should hit clear. Whoops, oh, I didn't mean to set it, hold on. And there it cleared it. So um, tab clear is to clear one tab to hold the tab and move the carriage clears all the tabs. So let's go ahead and set a tab again. We'll set it here. And there's your tab. Now you have a backspace. But remember, backspace does not erase. It's just when you make a mistake, and you will, you can just backspace. You can either X through it, line through it, or um, type over it, however you prefer to do that. Um, so we've talked about... Oh, and then line select over here. So when you hit the return handle, it's gonna advance either one, two, or three lines, depending on your personal preference. Now this release lever right here, that kind of, when you turn the handle, you can hear it click, so that platen is engaged. To disengage it, you pull this lever forward, that disengages the platen, you can kind of adjust like if you're trying to get something to line up just right to set it, um, then you can do that. But make sure you re-engage that platen. There's also a button right here on the left handle. It does the exact same thing. You just press it in while you're turning the handle and then release the button and it goes back to normal. Um, the, please keep the platen engaged because that lever is also used to remove the platen. All right, also, if you want to know what year your typewriter is, there is a serial number. It's going to be printed right here on the frame. It's underneath the carriage on the left side on the frame. And then you can go to typewriterdatabase.com and find out what the year of manufacture is. This one happens to be um, a 1958 Royal Chura 800. Um, in, oh, see, I totally messed that up. So what I would do is X through that. Oops, I didn't backspace far enough. X through that in pink and gray. So um, that is how that works. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. We will get to you as soon as we can, or I should say I will. My husband doesn't get on YouTube, um, but I'll answer as best as I can. I am not the technical one. My husband is, but again, um, if I can answer it, I will. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to give us a thumbs up. Subscribe. Every Saturday we come out with new listings, and YouTube is the first place that is announced, so you definitely want to get notifications. All right, happy typing and have a blessed day.